<laughs> Welcome back to the city stead guys. So Saturday we ended up having a really cool adventure family fun day. What did we do, E? We went to Crossroads Village. And what is Crossroads Village? Um, <laughs> I don't know. That'd be fun. So Crossroads Village is this place by us and it's like a old timey type of town. Like they bought some old buildings and they set them up like they would have been back in like the 1800s and kind of make it laid out like a little tiny town. There's all sorts of little cool stuff like a cider mill, a sawmill. Uh, like an old schoolhouse you can go in and yeah. see the cool stuff so we did that uh, for the Girl Scouts they had a thing there yeah. and we walked around did that had lunch there it's a really fun time mm -hmm. did you have a fun time of course what was your favorite thing we did while we were there hmm. my favorite thing was the magic show the magic show that was pretty good what was your favorite thing we did at Crossroads. You don't remember? <laughs> was it the ice cream? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> ice cream was your favorite? <laughs> so yeah, we walked around the town, we did all the stuff there, saw a magic show, had lunch, ice cream, all sorts of good stuff. <laughs> I've never seen a witch fly in a circle before. Yeah. He's like, I'm gonna go eat something.
please, please, please. That no. And I just want. Yeah, that no. That no. 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 Toy barn? It's a hoop and a stick, because this is olden times. <laughs> Was it just a wind up toy? Did you do it right? <laughs> oh, I think you did it. It's like a puzzle. Look how easy it was to entertain kids back in the day. I'm gonna make you one of those to play with all day. Are you catching something? Is it spinning? Is it spinning? How fun is that? Look at the next toy. Yeah, let her go though. <laughs> Try to pick up your keychain. That's fine. Or pick up Sissy's keychain. He did it! <laughs> He's an astronaut. <laughs>
get it yet? <laughs> what do you see? <laughs> Real life. This <laughs> one And they have a cool little train that does like a loop, and we normally ride it during like Halloween and Christmas because they have Halloween Huckleberry and Christmas. Dis yeah, Huckleberry or uh, they have the displays out, so it's really cool. We didn't ride it this time, but as we are leaving, we watched the last train of the day pulled out, and we saw a little cart, like a caboose, off to the side, and we thought. Oh, I wonder if that's open for display. So we asked one of the uh, conductors over there, and he said it wasn't really a display one. It was more like what was? What did he say it was? A lunchroom. Their lunch, yeah, it was their lunchroom. The conductors of the train, all the people who worked on the train, that was their lunchroom. So he was actually really cool and took us into it and showed us around and gave us like a private tour of the uh, old caboose that they turned into a lunchroom, which was pretty neat. So we got to go good footage of uh, some of his chat about it. And it was really neat because the guy was really into the trains. He had worked in the industry for 43 years. And then he retired and now he's actually still driving trains just at the uh, crossroads. So it was really cool. He had a lot of good passion for it and told us a lot about it. Did you think it was pretty cool? Yeah. Would you ever want to be a train conductor? Mm, not really, but it seems <laughs> really cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it seemed definitely like it was cooler way back in the day because they had that cool car to go around in. I really liked his badge of the cat. You liked his badge of the cat? Mm -hmm. He had a good story about that too. It was the Cheshire Line. What, why was it called the Cheshire Line? Do you remember why he said? Um, because on a train they found a cat sleeping on a pillow. Yeah, they found a cat sleeping on a pillow, a Cheshire cat. And they named an entire train line after a cat. Can you believe that? They didn't put us in a motel. Yeah. They would pick up the caboose and uh, set it off on a sidetrack, and there the conductor, brakeman, and the headman would sit yeah. and sleep until they were called out to go back to their origination. This used to be our cook stove, our wood, our heater, wood heater, and it was a clothes dryer. <laughs> And you stink pretty bad. Yeah. You know, when you're drying clothes in here, you know, dirty, sweaty old clothes. But up here was a cupola. 
in the cupola we would sit and as the train would go around the curves we could view our whole train that way if there was any dragging equipment or if there was any uh, uh, fires that may have started or maybe a hot box a hot box is a journal box at the end of each wheel there's a little square and inside the square there's batting down underneath the axle of the wheel and they fill it with oil so every time it turns around it's lubricating the wheel well sometimes the oil gets worn out leaks out and uh, it dries out and starts a fire. Well, it could burn up a whole wooden box car. So up here, that's where you'd watch for it. And then when you'd pass other trains, they would watch your train, you would inspect it, or you would get down and watch them from the ground. And cabooses were valuable. Pure, just fabulous for safety. You could monitor the air pressure in the train. And you could see if maybe you were drawing more air than you needed. You knew something was going wrong. Yeah. Whether an air, air hose is breaking or something like this. But they were great. You could see if cars ran into the side of a train. You could stop the train, uh, get a hold of the dispatcher. He'd call an ambulance or a fire department. He started a fire. They were very valuable for the safety of the public. <laughs> if you do notice, there's probably no bathrooms in here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No bathrooms in here. The newer composers in later years, they had a uh, self-contained restroom in them. What? It's a garbage can. Yeah, there was garbage can. And back here is our little sink. There used to be a big tube here with water that would hang, and the corks would fill it full of water. And uh, if you had good corks, it'd have some ice in it. If you had bad corks, you'd have polywogs, you know? So, uh, all in all, the cabooses were very valuable to the safety of the Well, that was our day there. It was a lot of fun, and we, we usually go there a couple times a year kind of staggered out sometimes Christmas sometimes Halloween but it's always a good time when we go up there a lot of fun so that was it that was our day hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, hope you enjoyed your trip with us through Crossroads Village and we'll see you in the next one Got anything else to say no <laughs> <laughs>